Here we go again. Greenwood agrees Man United exit. Mason Greenwood has agreed a deal to sign for Juventus, according to reports. The 22-year-old spent last season on loan at Getafe. He impressed in his first season since returning to football after not playing for 20 months. Greenwood scored 10 goals and assisted 6 in 36 games for Getafe, with the Spanish club keen on keeping him. But Manchester United have supposedly slapped a 40 millions of pounds price tag on him, amid interest from top sides like Napoli, Barcelona, and Borussia Dortmund. And it's Juventus, who are now reportedly leading the race to sign him this summer. Meanwhile, according to French outlet Le Ten Sport, Manchester United are launching a move to sign Monaco midfielder Yusuf Fofana. The Red Devils are in the transfer market for a new defensive midfielder, and it appears they are considering an approach for Fofana. Le Ten Sport claim that the Frenchman is prepared to take a step forward in his career, and he has an affection for the Premier League. This has put Man United in the front seat to sign him ahead of Juventus and AC Milan. Eric Ten Hag's side are strongly positioned to secure his services. Fofana has made the decision to move on from Monaco, where his contract expires in the summer of 2025. Fofana is a hard-working defensive midfielder who has impressed with his supreme work rate and ball recoveries. United may see him as a potential successor to Casemiro, who regressed during his second season at the club. The Brazilian star looked a shadow of himself, and he was prone to losing possession. It is unclear whether the hierarchy will sell him, but they may want to add competition for places with the signing of Fofana from Monaco this summer. Sofian Amrabat was signed on loan at the start of last season to compete with Casemiro, but the Moroccan ace failed to live up to the expectations. He struggled to adapt to the league's intensity and only found his feet in the final four weeks. There is a buy clause in the midfielder's contract, but as things stand, he is likely to return to his parent club Fiorentina next month. United could consider spending the fee on a younger player in Fofana, who has strong defensive attributes. Apart from his recovery pace, Fofana does not shy away from making crunch tackles. He is also good in getting out of tight spaces with his dribbling skills. He could be signed for a bargain fee of 26 millions of pounds when the transfer window reopens. In other news, Manchester United now have clarity over the managerial situation at Old Trafford and can now start focusing on incoming transfers. Ineos have finally made the decision everybody was waiting on. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and co, after weeks of speculation, have decided to stick with Eric Ten Hag. So, United need to spend this summer, and Ineos will look to be a little more calculated than the club has been in recent years. Gone are the days of spending big fees and handing huge contracts to players like Rafael Varane and Casemiro. Ineos will want to commit their money to top young talents who can make an impact at Old Trafford for years to come. One of the top targets appears to be Everton defender Gerard Branthwaite. Reports in recent days have suggested that United expect to get a deal done for Branthwaite before the end of June. Everton need to sell this month in order to meet the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules, leaving United in a position of leverage. TalkSport now claim that United are reluctant to meet Everton's 70 millions of pounds asking price, but Sir Jim Ratcliffe has a confidence about him in this pursuit. Ratcliffe allegedly believes that United are the only serious suitors for Branthwaite, seemingly not believing that other clubs are quite as interested. Ratcliffe doesn't appear to be paying much attention to links with a move to Real Madrid and doesn't want to go higher and higher with his offer when he doesn't see much competition. Meanwhile, United may not be keen on paying that 70 millions of pounds demand and Ratcliffe will be tempted to wait it out and hope that Everton get desperate as June 30th draws closer, making a lower offer of around 40 millions of pounds or 50 millions of pounds may be in the United plans and we may yet even see an exchange. Reports in May suggested that United were willing to offer a player to Everton in order to get a deal done. We weren't exactly sure who could be offered up to the Toffees, but midfielder Hannibal Mabry would make some sense. Everton wanted Hannibal in January and may lose a midfielder this summer with Amadou Onana attracting some interest. Cash plus Hannibal would be ideal for United, offloading a fringe player whilst landing the top centre-back target. That may be something in mind for Ratcliffe and Ineos, who seem ready to play a game of brinkmanship with Everton as they, so far, stick to a huge asking price. 
On the other side, Manchester United's 2023-24 campaign was certainly frustrating on every single front, with an injury crisis causing mass disruption. Although the defense was frequently highlighted as a vulnerable department, the attack also struggled to perform. Other than Bruno Fernandes, a lack of creativity was incredibly obvious, with the Red Devils ending the campaign with a goal difference of one. With that in mind, it's no surprise that Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos want to bolster the attack this summer, with one particular target potentially becoming their answer to Phil Foden. So, Man Unit's search for their own Foden. As per a report from Football Insider, Man United are interested in signing Crystal Palace star Ebereki Easy this summer. It's mentioned that United are very much in the race to secure Easy's signature, as he ticks a lot of boxes for Ineos. However, they won't be alone in attempting to sign the Crystal Palace attacking midfielder, with Tottenham Hotspur also keen. If either club is to secure Easy's services, then they must pay his 60 millions of pounds release clause, which isn't completely extortionate considering his quality. Meanwhile, fans split over Ten Hag staying. Manchester United fans have launched a social media frenzy in response to reports Eric Ten Hag will remain in charge. The Dutchman's position was reviewed, as it was always going to be, aft finishing 8th in the Prem, but winning the FA Cup. And some supporters hailed the brilliant news, pointing out he has won more as a manager than some of the names mentioned to take his job, like England chief Gareth Southgate. One fan posted, Last season, the team was ravaged with so many injuries and drama, which I feel was a major cause of the troubles. Hopefully, with the new owners, the upcoming season would be better. Would always back the manager. But others were surprised at the apparent U-turn by club chefs. Such reaction included, Oh my God, and I can't believe it. And amongst the criticism of retaining Ten Hag was this view. Advantage the whole PL, following by crying emojis. So, Eric set for contract extension talks, Eric Ten Hag will stay as Manchester United boss, following an end-of-season review by club chiefs. That's the verdict from the Athletics' David Ornstein, who says the Red Devils will hold talks over extending the Dutchman's contract. Ten Hag won the League Cup two seasons ago and the FA Cup this term, beating Man City in the final. It's thought that second success has helped tip the scales in his favor. In other news, Johnny Evans is reportedly being urged by Manchester United to sign a new one-year deal. Last summer's surprise re-signing from Leicester, now 36, ended up playing 30 games in defense. The Northern Ireland star is out of contract, but United fancy keeping him, partly due to a limited budget for new signings. Elsewhere, Manchester United have drawn up a three-man shortlist of striker targets, according to reports. The Red Devils are understood to be looking to bolster their attacking options ahead of next season. ESPN report United's wish list includes Ivan Tony, Jonathan David, and Joshua Xerxes. Both Tony and David are set to enter the final year of their contracts at Brentford and Lille, respectively. However, Brentford are still set to demand 50 millions of pounds for England star Tony, the report adds. Meanwhile, Xerxes' Bologna contract includes a 34 millions of pounds release clause this summer. Despite the uncertainty surrounding Eric Ten Hag's future, United are pushing ahead with their transfer business. The club are keen to add a striker, with Rasmus Hoyland, the only senior center forward at Old Trafford. Anthony Marshall is set to leave on a free transfer at the end of the month, whilst United have missed out on Benjamin Sesko. The Slovenian is expected to pen a new deal with RB Leipzig, following links with a move to the Premier League. As for David, only Kylian Mbappe scored more than his 19 League One goals for Lila. Elsewhere, Xerxes scored 11 and added 5 assists in a slightly deeper role for Bologna as they qualified for the Champions League. 